folks. It's me. Dun, da, da. It is 6.30 in the morning and uh, we're going snake hunting. We're going to coastal Carolina. I'm looking forward to seeing some red pygmies and hopefully we'll be grabbing some nice copperheads. Uh, it'll be very cool to bring home some copperheads. Um, Eastern Kings, uh, cane breaks, really nice cane breaks. That would be awesome to see some of those. And uh, yeah, so we will see what the day holds for us. And uh, I'm excited. Let's do this. Morning, sunshine. See the end of it. Come on, buddy. Go. Go. Hey there, buddy. What are you up to? Look at your belly. You're gonna throw a hissy fit, aren't you? Uh, mm, wow. It's kind of neat looking. Kind of plain. I know. I know. You're like melanistic, practically. You're all black. Anyway, I didn't come to ruin your day. Got in the water here. Bow. Frog. Oh, look. Whoa. Turn the corner. Running for it. Pansy. A bald eagle. A friggin' bald eagle. Let me see if I can catch it. Where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? There he is. Check that out. Pretty neato, huh? Two green snakes, right here. Look at both of them, just hanging out in the road. <laughs> and I was just about to call it quits. I'm surprised they didn't take off. Of course, their natural reaction is to sit very still, which they're doing because they're camouflage experts. So naturally, if they're up in the trees, all they have to do is sit still and not worry about anything. You got your friend over there. How close will you let me get to you? Come on, dude. You're all I've seen all day long. Cut me some slack. Just play along. How you doing? This would be the rough green snake, most likely. Couldn't possibly be lucky enough to see a smooth green snake. Smooth green snakes are endangered slash protected in North Carolina. But, um, this is cool. A snake, a pair of snakes. I will take that as 
some of my excitement for the day. I'm gonna get right in your face. Yep. They won't strike or anything. You are one laid back dude. I'm gonna go over and see your buddy. I can get up here. You're probably gonna take off. Cool. Just please don't go under my car if you could do that. I'll tell you what, because you look like you're going that way. Yep, and gone. G O N gone. The second I tapped him, he was gone. So that's okay. Look at this little guy. Look at me. Ooh, what am I gonna do? Give me some tongue. Hmm? Get right up in your face. This camera is incredible. <laughs> and you're an awesome subject as well. Look at this guy. He's slowly inching along. Do we want to see him take off? I think we should watch him take off. There he goes. I was going to motivate him a little bit, but looks like there's no need to. There, yep, and up into the bamboo. Sweet, ready. One, two, three, go. Well, look, you're there. And how are you? The elusive black mamba. One of the most aggressive and venomous reptiles in the entire world. This one is particularly cold, so he's a bit calm. But if the sun was shining on him, he would be all fired up. And it would be a very, very lethal situation for me. See if we can get him to strike at the camera. You can't see the camera. You can see he's in shed. His eyes are all... Oh, there we go. Stand, everybody stand back. Stand back. Don't want to get bit. Getting bit by this black mamba would be very, very bad. It would be lethal. Hospital is uh, at least three hours away. Dun -da -da. Dun -da -da. So when you've had a really crappy, boring day, you take a black racer, you turn it into a mamba, you pretend you're in Africa, and it's a good time. So uh, I'll flip this board back over, scoot this dude under there, give him some protection, and uh, be on my merry way. Yay! Oh, there's another board over there. Even though I've had a crummy day, there was one last important thing that I actually wanted to pass on. I wanted to get this out before my uh, my battery 